Hi friends, this is Aryan. Today we are going to learn analog transmission. Analog transmission mainly consists of uh, transmitting your digital data by using your bandpass channel. So, particularly analog transmission consists of two parts. One is um, converting your digital data to bandpass analog signal and converting your low pass analog signal to bandpass analog signal. Concerning this, what happens exactly, exactly when we convert a digital data to a bandpass analog signal is that we normally map the digital data with any of the signal characteristics like your amplitude, phase or frequency so that that can be transmitted through your bandpass analog channel and uh, this kind of mapping is also done in case of your uh, low pass analog signal to band pass analog signal conversion where the low pass analog signal information has been converted into band pass analog signal and they are transmitted through a communication channel. Now representation of analog information by an analog signal is known as analog to analog converse, conversion. So first of all let us try to see how exactly digital data has been converted into bandpass analog signal and what are the different techniques available to, to perform digital data to bandpass analog signal conversion. Now in this figure we observe that there is a sender and there is a receiver where the sender has digital data and at the sender side we have modulator. The duty of this modulator is it converts the digital data to bandpass analog signal and passes through a communication channel. Once it is received at the receiver end, the digital signal that has been converted into analog signal at the sender end has been demodulated that is the analog signal has been converted into digital signal digital data and delivered to the receiver this is how exactly the process of digital data to bandpass analog signal conversion takes place under this scheme there are, there are different techniques available one is amplitude shift king where the digital data is mapped with the amplitude of the signal and that is passed through a communication channel then we have frequency frequency shift king where the digital data is mapped with the frequency of analog signal and that is passed and the third one we have phase shift king where digital data is mapped with phase of analog signal and that is being transmitted through your communication channel and among all these we have one more advanced con concept where that is your quadrature amplitude modulation where it combines the features of amplitude shift king and phase shift king and con maps your digital data to your analog signal and that is being passed to the communication channel to the destination and this quadrature amplitude modulation is what we commonly used in your day to day life rest everything they are only for knowledge sake but still uh, there are some places where these techniques are being used but the quadrature amplitude modulation widely used in current scenario this is how the few techniques that deals with converting your digital data to analog signal that is mapping of digital data to bandpass analog signal
then we have analog to analog conversion where we convert analog signal low pass analog signal to band pass analog signal under this scheme we have three different techniques one is your amplitude modulation then frequency modulation then phase modulation the same way by varying amplitude we can generate different signal element by varying the frequency we can generate different signals and by varying the phase we can generate different signals once these signals have been generated they are being passed through your communication channel and sent to the destination friends these are all about a few uh, things that we need to know about the conversion of analog signal uh, conversion of your digital data to analog signal and conversion of anal low pass analog signal to band pass analog signal if you want more on this please sub subscribe my channel and like my channel thank you all for watching my channel